This is 7 National News and in our top story, the UA Vice President, Prime Minister and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, has instructed humanitarian and relief agencies in the UA to continue the delivery of humanitarian assistance to refugees and other people in Jordan, Lebanon, Palestine and Iraq's Kurdistan region throughout the winter season. The UA wrapped up a humanitarian week this week in accordance with directives from the UA President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, and with the follow-up by the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UA and Ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, to raise funds for refugees and others in the Levant to help them survive the recent powerful snowstorm Huda. The UA Compassion Campaign raised more than 208 million dirhams in financial donations and hundreds of tons of assistance worth 20 million dirhams. The Minister of Cabinet Affairs and the Chairman of the UA Compassion National Committee, Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Gagawi, stated that international appreciation has continued to pour into the country adding that UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has underlined the role His Highness Sheikh Khalifa is playing in international humanitarian work. al Gagawi noted that the daily close follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Mohammed has also been instrumental in the swift delivery of assistance to those in need before the snowstorm reached its peak and that the humanitarian organisations have achieved an international precedence by delivering relief assistance to the Levant in less than 12 hours. The Ministry of Interior is urging travellers to register for the electronic ports project eGate in order to cut the time spent going through the country's ports. Major Mohammed Al Zabi, the director of the MOI's ePort project, says that GCC nationals, residents, as well as visitors and their family members who have an entry visa can benefit from the quick travel procedures at the country's ports of entry and exit. He also noted that the -the state-of-the-art system provides the highest levels of security and convenience for all travellers. The Dubai municipality fined at least 365 food transport vehicles between Sunday and Monday this week for violating the rules. This comes off the back of a new inspection crackdown where a special team checked 1,100 vehicles at the Alawir Fruits and Vegetable Market. According to reports, the crackdown ends today and will continue in other areas very soon. The team was led by the head of food inspection, Sultan Al Tahir, who stated that the ongoing initiative will push transporters to follow the rules and that although the majority of vehicles are compliant, even a small percentage of violations is not acceptable. Some of the violations included transporting perishables without chillers or freezers, no permits and using open air storage space. Spending hours driving loops around the car park to get a space could soon be a thing of the past, as the Road and Transport Authority have launched an app that allows users to locate available car parking spaces at the Dubai Mall, as well as on a number of areas on the Sheikh Zayed Road. The RTA announced at a roundtable on Wednesday that the updated version of the app which was introduced by the RTA in September 2014, is available for download on the Android platform, which they are hoping will also encourage private spaces like shopping malls and hotels to incorporate their parking facilities with the RTA app. Mather bin Adi, the CEO of the the Dubai Traffic and Roads Corporation, stated that the app will not give the exact location of free slots, but instead will give details of available parking spaces in different zones through colour coding. Parking sensors have also been installed using automatic number plate recognition systems. Officials added that the update will take effect on the iOS platform in about a week's time, and that using the app will also be free of charge. And over in Sharjah, police are warning motorists that they face fines of 200 dirhams and four black points for driving without lights at night or in foggy conditions. 
According to reports, the police also warned that those who choose to drive with no taillights will also be fined 100 dirhams. The warnings come off the back of the launch of a road safety awareness campaign, which looks to alert drivers to be cautious during bad weather conditions, like rain, fog and dust during winter. The Clinical Nutrition Department of the Dubai Health Authority has kicked off its nutritional awareness campaign. The Do More initiative is taking place for the second consecutive year and will continue through to the end of April 2015. As a part of the campaign, DHA nutritionists and physiotherapists will carry out 12 awareness campaigns at Dubai's various walking and jogging tracks. The DHA will raise awareness about topics such as nutrition for athletes, natural and unnatural sources of protein, ideal foods to consume before and after exercise, the importance of good carbohydrates, hazards of energy drinks and much more. In addition, DHA specialists will also provide free health screenings, including BMI, blood sugar and blood pressure. Physiotherapists will also be present to discuss topics such as the correct way of exercising to avoid injuries. Over the past four years, 29,000 men and women of all ages and nationalities from across the country underwent free early breast cancer detection screenings through the Pink Caravan Initiative. The UA's Breast Cancer Awareness Drive by the Friends of Cancer Patients Charity provided the free screenings to 22,418 women and 6,531 men of all nationalities, including 10,082 Emirati women and men and 18,867 expat residents. The examinations resulted in discovering 22 breast cancer cases that were then monitored by the FOCP. The initiative has also managed to organise 585 awareness activations, as well as donation campaigns and charity auctions. Amira bin Karam, the president of the Board of Trustees and a founding member of the FOCP, was quoted in news agency WAM as saying that the achievements of the Pink Caravan over the past four years have contributed to dispelling myths about breast cancer and have encouraged thousands of women and men to undergo early detection examinations, which have also contributed to raising the survival rates of up to 98%. And finally, looking to other news now, 20 students from Abu Dhabi University's College of Engineering have joined forces with the Solar Car team from the University of Michigan, who were set to take part in the qualifying round of the Abu Dhabi Solar Challenge today at Yas Marina Circuit. Sponsored by Abu Dhabi National Oil Company and hosted by Abu Dhabi's Mazda as a part of Abu Dhabi Sustainability Week, the ADSC has attracted student teams from universities over in Australia, Europe, America and Asia who have designed and built solar cars to compete from the 16th to the 19th of January. The Dean of Abu Dhabi University's College of Engineering, Dr. Ali Nazmi, stress the importance of the initiative and the opportunity to be part of a team from the world-renowned University of Michigan, where ADU is one of only two universities in the UAE to participate in the challenge. Commenting on the reasons behind the company's sponsorship, Ibrahim Ahmed Al Ansari, the CEO of the Dolphin Energy, said the event encourages aspects of mechanical engineering, science and mathematics, and also highlights the benefits of solar energy and the role it plays in developing environmental consciousness. He added that it is clear that the team has invested a lot of hard work, dedication and commitment.